What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over six easy giant core locations. Now, giant cores allow you to get exclusive ancient weapons like the ancient shield or the ancient bow. You can get them from the Akala Tech Lab in the top right hand corner of the map. You'll see that in a second. Now, the giant cores are very rare to get and they cost hundreds of rupees. So, there's a lot of reasons why you might want these. So looking at the map, again, you'll see we're at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab here at the top right of the map. Now we're headed towards this spiral sandbar and in the center of it, there is a hidden shrine that we need to make appear. Okay, so I'm going to transport to the Ka Ma'el Shrine and we're going to head north once we get there. I'm going to go to the lower level just to avoid these enemies here. And I'm going to continue making my way north. Okay, so now you can see the spiral sandbar here. And at the center of this is where we need to carry an ancient orb. Now the ancient orb is right here next to these trees. So let's go ahead and grab that. So the game wants you to go around the entire spiral, but there's a ton of enemies. So let's take a shortcut using Cryonis and we're going to go over the water. Now, if you line up the little snowflake with the Cryonis on the object that you're trying to lift up, um, if it's centered right there on the snowflake, the object will always lay perfect on top of the cube and it won't drop back into the water, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and fast forward this, and again, I'm just making my way to the center of this spiral. Alright, and you just put the orb inside of that hole, and you're going to make this shrine appear. Now, this is the Ratag Zumo Shrine. And it's a blessing shrine, which basically means there's no trial. You simply go to the treasure chest. And here, we're going to find our giant core. Don't forget to get your spirit orb when you're there as well. Now, we're going to head over to the Miro Shah's shrine. It's next to the Woodland Stable and Pico Pond. And that's going to be our next destination. Now, the Mero Shah's Shrine is a bit of a tricky shrine, not because of a difficult puzzle or anything like that. It's just that you have to hit an ancient orb across the room in the right location in the right spot so that you can progress through the shrine. And that's what makes it difficult. Um, now, this wall here is there's another room behind this wall. And in order to get through, we have to use stasis on the ancient orb. And let's hit it many times to launch across the room. It's kind of like golf. You can look at it that way. All right, excellent. This chest contains a sledgehammer in case you need one. Let's use stasis on this block. We'll hit it a few times so we can hit this bridge, allowing us to cross over. Now, go around the altar and you're gonna find another puzzle just like the one we saw before, except this one is much harder. There's another chest in here in case you broke your weapon. And behind this gate is where the giant core is, which is what we're after. So let's use stasis on the ancient orb. Again, this took me many times. This is probably my 30th time trying this. Um, seriously, so don't get discouraged. Keep on trying, you'll get it. And there's our giant ancient core. What a beauty. 
So the next stop is the Da Hesho Shrine. Um, this is a minor test of strength. So go ahead and destroy this Guardian Scout and there will be a treasure chest next to the altar. That treasure chest contains another giant core. All right, so the next stop is the Zunakai Shrine in the Akala region. It's at the top right of the map. And once you go there, this is actually a blessing shrine. So there's no trial to it, but getting to the shrine is what's difficult. It's surrounded by water and it's at the top of a very high peak. So you have to do a lot of climbing. But once you come in, you simply grab the treasure chest. This contains a giant core as well. All right, so we're gonna head to the Great Hyrule Forest. Uh, there's a shrine here called the Kyo Rug Shrine that's next to the Korok Forest, and that's where Hestu is. So we're gonna go ahead and transport there. Now, there's a character in the forest, I forgot his name, um, but we need to talk to him in order to activate this quest and be able to access the next shrine with the giant core. And it's this dude right here, he's at the top of this rock, you need to talk to him and it will activate the trial. So if you looked to the right of Hestu, which is this dude right here, um, there's a little hill. Just go up that hill and we're going to be talking to a character named Damnia. Uh, and this is going to allow us to progress towards the shrine. All right, so Damia is going to challenge us to a shrine quest where we have to carry the complete Korok weapon set, which includes a shield, a bow, and a sword completely through the forest to the next location. You cannot change any of your weapons. It's actually pretty easy. There's a bunch of fences throughout the forest. Make sure not to jump over any fence and you'll be just fine. So we'll continue taking care of these enemies. Now there's a bunch of boxes here. Let's go ahead and blow those up. And we'll take care of these enemies along the way. Again, notice the fences. Don't cross the fence and you'll be just fine. Okay, so this is sort of like a dead end. You can't really cross uh, the swamp. So let's take care of the enemies and we're gonna use Revali's Gale to get an updraft. If you don't have Revali's Gale, like what you see here, simply set a fire and use that as an updraft to fly over. And here we've completed the shrine quest and Demia is going to um, congratulate us and then we can enter into the shrine. And the test of wood is complete. And this is a blessing shrine. Again, there's no trial. We simply go to the treasure chest, collect our giant ancient core, and of course the spirit orb as well. Okay, so now we're back next to Hestu and we're going to get to the final giant core location. Now, I'm going to put a pin on the map so you can see. This is where I am, and this is where we are going. Alright, so let's go ahead and just head there. And there's this sort of like tree trunk tunnel that you want to go through. When you see that, just continue moving straight and you're gonna see another Zelda character named Zuki. He's going to give you a shrine test as well. And what we're gonna want to do is activate our stasis. And you can see these boulders. Just keep basically chasing the boulders and you'll make it through the correct path. Now it gets a little tricky sometimes, but it's really not that difficult.
Oh, almost got caught there. Don't want to do that. Okay, there's the boulder. I don't know why I didn't see those before, but... So, keep heading along this way. And you're going to come to the next section of the uh, path where there's some enemies. So, I took care of them. And if you look at the tree next to the two torches, uh, it says, feed me the aged shield. Now, there's a mouth here, right? And what we're going to do is head over right here to this rock and there's a rusty shield. Let's go ahead and pick up the rusty shield and we're going to drop it off in the mouth of the tree. This causes a new chest to fall out of another mouth in a nearby tree. So we're going to go over to there. We're going to grab our amber from the chest and grab the chest with your magnesis because we're going to need it for the next section. I'm actually going to drop it into the water so I can then just easily pick it up on the other side. And this says to put the chest into the tree's mouth. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this is going to reveal another shrine. And this is another blessing shrine and we obtain our final giant core and that about wraps things up YouTube thank you so much once again these giant cores can be used for getting exclusive ancient weapons they're very rare to get and you can sell them for hundreds of rupees thank you for watching YouTube I love you all God bless everyone cheers <laughs>